Well, good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome along to another episode of Silver Fox Travels. Uh, in this particular garage chat, I'm going to tell you about these uh, new gloves that I've bought for myself. They're the uh, RST Paragon 6 heated gloves. Now, these are the gloves in question. They're quite chunky. There's got uh, protection for the knuckles. Uh, there's uh, apparently they're touch sensitive for on the uh, any kind of a, a screen that you might want to use it on, such as uh, sat navs and the like. And uh, the battery operated, and the battery fits inside this little zipper here. As you can see, that goes in there, all zips up, and you have a, a cuff adjustment there, and you have a wrist adjustment here. Now, as you can see from the photographs, you get various uh, extra bits and pieces with it. Um, apart from the uh, charger, which looks like this, you have three or four rather different connectors on here so that you can uh, plug it in either here in the UK with the standard three pin plug or abroad using the various different styles of sockets that they have over there as you can see there's three extra ones there which uh, should pretty much cover every eventuality should you be going abroad with these gloves now when I got these gloves I wanted to make sure that the cuff would fit over the uh, cuff of the jackets when I uh, when I wore them. Now, as you can see from this little bit of video, the wax jacket, the green wax jacket that I normally wear on the cub, uh, was a bit of a struggle getting the glove over the end of the sleeve. And they actually seem to fit better over the end of the sleeve of the uh, Heingerich jacket that I wear uh, when I'm riding the Fox. Okay, so let's get the cub out onto the road and uh, we'll give these gloves a bit of a test ride. Okay, so let's get a feel of what these gloves are like in this uh, rather cold weather. As you can see, I've got them on the uh, full high setting. They're really very comfortable actually. I'm quite pleased with the with the way they feel. I can feel them getting quite warm now. Uh, I've only just switched them on as well. The battery's in the cuff there, just behind that zipper. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, but it's not obtrusive in any way, it's not uh, rubbing against my arm or, or anything really. Barely aware that it's there. I can feel the warmth on the tops of my fingers and uh, on the palms of my hands as well. So I'm assuming the uh, heating element goes right round the whole glove. We've got three settings. Uh, the first one is sort of uh, green and amber, which is very low. I would imagine uh, that isn't particularly warm. Uh, the middle setting is just green, which obviously is a little bit warmer. And the red is the hottest of the three. Now, uh, I think the way I'll be using it is I shall have it on uh, red to start with and then as the as the ride progresses I'll drop it down a notch uh, that way I don't end up with the uh, really hot sweaty hands that's assuming they get that hot I 
I'll just put up a screenshot now of what the current temperature is um, because uh, trust me it's not very warm and I'm steaming up and to be honest even though I've got base layers on I can feel the cold on my legs and when I say base layers I mean long johns <laughs> I got the uh, large size, which according to the uh, sizing chart, um, you measure your hand across your palm at the widest point, and uh, on mine it came to uh, just about 10 centimeters, which according to the chart is a large. and they do fit really well some gloves I've tried on in the past the, uh, the ends of the fingers have been so long that they've been really flappy uh, but with this I can reach all the uh, controls quite easily Bit of carol singing going on there. Couldn't quite hear them, but uh, looked okay. And of course, with your hands being warm, you get that sensation that your whole body's warm. Although uh, my knees would disagree. But yeah. I think uh, these are the winner. The battery life is supposed to be about two and a half hours on full power. Um, a bit longer as you go down the power levels, obviously. But yeah, I'm really pleased with them. I think these are the winner. One thing I've just discovered you mustn't do is try and wipe your nose with these gloves because each finger, each index finger, has this very handy windscreen wiper, which is really quite sharp. As I've discovered. Right, well that's uh, my little bit of shopping done and uh, I have to say that these gloves are a success um, best thing I've bought, they're just about £150 I got them uh, from j &S online and uh, they arrived pretty quickly as well so uh, yeah, excellent pair of gloves can't fault them right, let's get back to the garage Okay, so now that we're back in the garage, uh, we'll have a look, closer look at the various settings on these gloves. Now, I'll bring these a little closer to the camera so you can see. There are three basic settings on here. The first, that's the off position, of course. A three second hold down activates it to full power, which is shown there in red. You can then tap it 
takes it down to the basic, the lowest setting, which is green and amber together. The second setting is just green. And then, of course, the third setting is red. And that's the hottest. A three second hold down and the thing goes off. They have, as I discovered, a windscreen wiper blade effectively on the index finger of both gloves. Very useful for uh, wiping the um, visor on your helmet. A little bit painful if you wipe your nose. Something not to do. Bear that in mind. So we're coming towards the end of the riding season here in the UK and certainly for uh, people like me who don't like riding in the ice and snow. Uh, the, uh, the Fox has had a really good wash down, has been cleaned, thoroughly dried and um, all the chrome work has been attended to to make sure that no rust or anything like that builds up over the winter. And all that remains for me to do now is to uh, do the same with the Cub, give it a really good clean down and uh, put her away for the uh, for the winter. I can't see me doing any more riding this year. But I've got plans for next year and I'm looking forward to getting out on the road, hopefully meeting up with a whole load of you people out there and uh, looking forward to a really nice time next year. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this little short video. Uh, I'll finish off in the usual way now by saying look after yourselves, look after the people around you and until next time, Bye for now.